we're going to start looking at some higher gain operational amplifiers, but first I wanted to review some of the, some of the non-idealities and their impact on our system level circuit design. So we're ultimately designing these operational amplifiers to be used as larger as pieces in a larger system. So for instance, let's look at what happens with a voltage offset in, in, uh, in a particular circuit. Uh, this circuit is an integrator. All right, so our integrator circuit has a resistor and a capacitor connected around an operational amplifier and negative feedback. And what we're going to do is assume that we have both input uh, terminals grounded, but this operational amplifier is non-ideal, uh, non-ideal, nine ideal and so it has an offset voltage at the input. We model the offset of the operational amplifier in other words as just being an offset voltage outside of an ideal operational amplifier. So we can figure out what the output voltage of this operational amplifier would be by noting that because of the virtual short at the input to the operational amplifier, the input voltage or the voltage at this terminal is also equal to VOS. So we know that our output voltage is equal to VO, which is equal to VOS plus whatever the voltage drop is across the capacitor. And we know that the capacitor's voltage drop should be one over C, the capacitance value, times the integral from zero to T of the current I, one DT. And we know that our current I one is equal to VOS divided by R. So if we substitute everything back in, we can say that our output voltage is equal to VOS plus one over C integral from zero to T of VOS over R DT. And solving this, we can find that our output voltage is equal to VOS times one plus T divided by RC plus whatever our initial conditions were. The problem that we see here is that our output voltage is growing linearly with time. And it's just due to the, uh, just due to the offset voltage inside the operational amplifier. So if we were to just plot this with no input signal, only the offset voltage in the amplifier, we would see an output that looks something like this. Our output voltage would be increasing with time and here would be whatever our initial conditions were. This will of course increase, the output voltage will of course increase until the amplifier saturates and then of course it would flatten out. But you can see this is problematic and it would uh, definitely not be good uh, for our signals. One way that we can fix this is by placing a resistor across the capacitor. So we can fix this by building the following circuit. And essentially what we're going to do is reduce the gain at high frequency, or sorry, at low frequency by providing DC feedback through a resistor called RF. So our circuit is the same now except we've added RF in parallel with C. We still have our offset voltage. All right, so now, at least at DC, we have our output voltage is equal to V offset times one plus RF over R. 
so sorry, over R. And this will prevent saturation by, by making the gain finite at DC. But usually RF is large, so offset is still a problem and still needs to be small. So in the next part of the lesson, we're going to start looking at what happens when we have finite, close, finite uh, op amp gain. So we've been making assumptions when we do these op amp calculations that the gain of this op amp is infinite. And in practice, of course, we can't make an infinite gain. So we'll find out what finite gain in an op amp does uh, to the performance of our systems using these op amps.